Warning, this video is not for kids. It's barely for adults. Oh, I know that it has Santa in it, but you know what else has Santa in it? Literally everything, including all of these things, which chances are you haven't seen. If you're a kid, this video will warp your fragile little minds. You shouldn't be watching it. And also, don't do drugs, kids. Elf on the Shelf is a big narc. All right, you happy now, Kappa? Can we move on? Thank you. Ho ho ho, well hello boys and girls who are at least 13 years of age or have the permission of a legal parent or guardian to watch this video. My name is Santa. You may know me from all those stock photos that roll around come November, like this one. Or perhaps this one where I was trapped in a snow globe. Ho ho, almost ran out of air. Oh, I forgot the safe word was Hollyberry and I kept saying Hollyberry. oh. It was quite a confusing day at the Claus household, let me tell you that, for so many reasons. Or this candid photo taken the day after Christmas. Oh goodness, that was the year the tech bubble burst. I delivered my fair share of coal that year. By request, mind you. Here are a bunch of people dressed like me as an excuse to drink. Ho, oh, oh, shine on you crazy diamonds. And here are some kids that think they can do a better job of being Santa than I can. Oh, millennials. Anyway, I heard through my friend Elf on the Shelf, you know, the narc, that Bethesda Softworks had been quite naughty this year. Look at what terrible things have befallen the wastelands of Fallout, which was such a nice place to visit before. Well, it seems like the folks of the apocalyptic future could use a little extra Christmas cheer this season, so let's see if we can brighten their otherwise dreary lives in the Commonwealth thanks to these seasonal modifications for Fallout 4. Oh, and also the cheat room, because fuck it. Thank you to the mod community for all you do. Make sure to send me your letters in time, and no, I don't do ponies anymore. Broke my damn back during the Westward expansion. Oh, right. Can you beat Fallout 4 as me, Santa? Alright, so the first thing we have to do is look like Santa. Oh, no, I need rosy cheeks. And I need a red nose like a cherry. It says so in one of those songs. Got to get this right now. Now, as for body, that's easy. Let's see, we are a full of jelly indeed. Well, I may have shaved a few years off, but uh, I look about right. Mrs. Claus, however, is looking quite fetching. I didn't even know your name was Nora. That's fascinating. I should really try this soul cycle. Hollyberry. Oh, 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 would you look at that. Even Mr. vault has gotten into the holiday spirit. Well, it is already October. As for my special stats, I'm just putting all of them at four. It's not really going to matter. You'll see in a minute. All right, don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Well, it looks like the nukes are about to fall, but at least our men and women in fighting uniform are still able to stay in the Christmas spirit. This should be a very terrifying situation. But Power Armor Santa's just put a smile on my face. They may have put Santa in a cryo chamber, but I'm immortal and the cold never bothered me anyway, so just biding my time. Oh no, they're trying to take baby Jesus. Well, I know one mercenary who's getting cold this year, and I'm not going to tell you where I'm going to shove it. Oh wait, wrong way, wrong way. Alright, our very first stop is going to be the cheat room where we find a Santa cat in a Santa hat. How adorable. Makes no sense, but who cares? Oh, look, even the bobbleheads are in a Christmas spirit. Although this one looks like he might be getting his holidays mixed up. I, well, enjoy SantaCon. Alright, so we're going to have to make some modifications to my special stats because, as you know, Santa's basically a demigod. There we go, now my stats are literally over 9,000. Oh, oh, oh. While I raided the cheat room, I made sure to pick up some special weapons, like the cryolator, which came in very handy when I wandered over to the Museum of Freedom. You see, these raiders, they had been very naughty. 
They were hot-headed, and I needed to cool them down. I don't think it's right for Santa to go and kill people. Maybe just freeze them. Freezing seems like a fine thing. They're just- they're just sleeping. Everything's fine. Oh, you little asshole. Okay. Uh, they're just sleeping. That's all. I also made sure to increase my walk speed and jump height because of course Santa needs to go very fast and also leap over tall buildings. How do you think I get into all those chimneys? Oh no, the super mutants have become abominable snowmen! Well, we're going to have to cool you down more. Apparently not with this. Wait, didn't I have a freeze pistol with me? Oh yes, uh, yes, here we go, there we go. Yes, just take a timeout. Nice little timeout. There you go. You'll feel all better in the morning, I think. I feel so bad that I wasn't able to find a mod for my Santa coat. What a missed opportunity. I mean, the hat is on point, so I'll give them that. And I guess I'll settle for the Argyle sweater and pants combo. More like Santa casual wear, but alright. Oh, would you look at that! My very own set of power armor! And what do I see? Uh-oh. Well, well, it wouldn't be a Bethesda game without the game randomly crashing, wouldn't it? Well, here we are, folks. It's that moment. Ho ho ho, and we return. Now with my fancy new suit and jetpack, I'll be able to deliver presents twice as fast to all the good little boys and girls at least 13 years old and with the consent of a parent or guardian in the wasteland. Oh, and look, someone has left some presents out that I can deliver to all the unfortunate people of the wasteland. Oh, and a way to launch them at people. Well, this is bound to go well. Merry Christmas, mole rats! Who needs a sleigh and reindeer when you have style, right, folks? Oh, ho, oh, oh. Gee, I kind of wish that there were more than three presents. Well, back to the cheat room to get some more. All right, now we can settle our differences calmly. Just put the gun down. You're going to hurt yourself. You see? You hurt yourself. You put your eye out. That's why your mom wouldn't let you have a Red Rider BB gun. Alright everybody, I know that you're a little upset, but I don't have a skin cream powerful enough to help you. Just let's- let's come- Mrs. Sumner, this is not helping. This will not bring your son back. He's been dead for 200 years. Fun story, did you know that if your intelligence is set at 9000, that you gain experience at a ludicrous rate? I hadn't planned on that, but, uh, whatever. Ah, oh, look, it's Trashcan Carla. Trashcan Carla has a very bad attitude and is very naughty this time of year. She overcharged Santa for goods. Santa felt it was only right to make her give me all her money. Well, you're fine with it when Robin Hood does it. Why can't I? Oh, she came at me. Oh, uh, you, you saw she came at me. She came at me and she had razor grain. Finally, Santa has made it to Rivet City, a diamond city. But Santa can't just go through the front door. Ho ho no. I must go in through the roof. It's like a thing I do. Finally, I arrive at Diamond City. The shining green gem and oh, look at all the lovely decorations they've put up. What a Christmas miracle this is. All right, um, don't really know what happened here. Uh, this has gone very badly. Santa doesn't know exactly what happened. And why does my bat have all this blood on it? I'm... Santa's very confused. God damn, may I hate you. I always have. Oh, that's right. Bethesda labeled you as an important NPC so you can't be killed. At least we know that everyone who's still standing is apparently an important NPC. Who has plot armor? Apparently Kira Bucklands for some unknown fucking reason. I suppose we'll never really know who the true culprit is. Hmm. What a shame. Oh, here we have Marcy Long. Marcy is always angry. So she's going to get a very special present. 
I'm just going to sneak it right into a pocket. What do we have? Plasma grenades. These are very expensive. Oh, no, she did not like that. That's worth a lot of caps, Marcy. Maybe Preston will appreciate it more. Here. You're, you're always interested in blowing things up, right? Here, take, take a plasma grenade. Oh no, Sturgis has requisitioned my Santa suit. No! You can't have that power armor. That's my power armor. I haven't taken anything from you. I gave you the gift of grenades. All right, fine. Fuck it. You want a present? Here, take that. Oh no, they got my backup Santa costume too. No! No! All right, I hope you and grateful bastards are happy. Now both of my Santa suits are destroyed. And all I tried to do is give you the gift of explosions. Oh look! Even the two-headed cow has two Santa hats! Maybe Mr. Abernathy will appreciate my gift of grenades more. Here we go. Enjoy your grenade, sir! Oh. Oopsie! Okay, fine! I'm going, alright? I don't know what your problem is. Every year, millions of people would expect me to invade their home, and they were happy about it! They loved it! Now I have to deal with this shit! Fine, here you go! Merry Christmas, you filthy animals! They will regret pissing off Santa when my mechanized army arises. This, this is the Terminator film you never knew you needed, right? So, what did we learn here today? Can you beat Fallout 4 as Santa? Well, of course you can! No shit, Sherlock! I'm a god, what do you want? It's actually far easier than if you were playing normally. I'm not gonna go through the whole goddamn game so that you could get that satisfaction. I'm motherfucking Santa, damn it! The real question is, should you beat Fallout 4 as Santa? And I can verifiably say, no, you should not. It is a bad idea. It will scar you for life. It's not even particularly enjoyable to do. You will feel bad about yourself, and even worse about Santa. I don't need this kind of PR nightmare. It does seem like every time you play me in a game, it turns out that I'm a murderous asshole. Not quite sure why. There's got to be a common factor here somewhere. Don't really know what that would be. Can't put my finger on it. Anyway, if you will excuse me, I have to go bring some very large explosive presents to the rest of the wasteland. Cue the musical montage. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a And a happy new year Now bring us some figgy pudding Now bring us some figgy pudding Now bring us some figgy pudding And bring it out here The tidings we bring To you and your king We wish you a Merry Christmas And a Happy New Year For we all like figgy pudding For we all
I guess what I'm trying to say is... <coughs> One second. Motherfucker, get out of here! Stick that up your stocking! Oh, sorry. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! God damn it, I have all this blood all over my sweater now. Mrs. Claus would kill me if she wasn't already dead. I suppose no one around here has any seltzer water. Unfucking believable. I'm trying to be a professional. Alright, I know what everyone has been asking. Did Santa shoot the cat? How dare you imply I could shoot a cat that can pull off that hat so effectively. I'm not a monster. I don't know why you would get that impression. <laughs>